Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sunflow Channel. With Russia's continued defeat on the battlefield in eastern Ukraine, its domestic anti-war voices have re-emerged. Recently, a Russian newspaper The Moscow Times interviewed several retired military officers. Vitaly Vodanovsky, retiring from the Russian Air Force, at the rank of lieutenant colonel, got involved in political activism in the southern Russian city of Krasnodar. Now, he is a vociferous opponent of the invasion of Ukraine and has been repeatedly detained. Vitaly Vodanovsky, retiring from the Russian Air Force, at the rank of lieutenant colonel, got involved in political activism in the southern Russian city of Krasnodar. Now, he is a vociferous opponent of the invasion of Ukraine and has been repeatedly detained. He accuses President Putin of sabotaging military resources and now dragging himself into a war with the world like an idiot and creating a dilemma that Russia couldn't win. He also said modern warfare is, first of all, the warfare of technology, knowledge, and skill. It's not possible to teach a conscript any high-tech skills in a year. Nikolai Prokudin is a 61-year-old veteran of the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan, who opposes the war in Ukraine. He said there are people with views identical to him, others are less radical. But most people are fooled by the propaganda. Another veteran Sergei Gulyov said he would rather go to jail, than going to fight against Ukraine. One reason why Gulyov feels so strongly about the Ukraine war is, that a Soviet soldier from Ukraine saved his life in Afghanistan. That man's son, a soldier in the Ukrainian army, was killed in 2014 in a battle with Russia-backed separatists. The Moscow Times pointed out that there are many reasons why Russian veterans are anti-war. Apart from arguing that the war was unjust, it was a war against a weaker neighbor country. There are also concerns that the war will cause suffering for the Russians. Russian authorities passed a wartime speech control bill in March 2022 in an attempt to silence anti-war activists. Several retired soldiers were punished for this. Former Air Force officer Vodanovsky has been detained multiple times since the invasion. Most recently, he was stopped by police earlier this month while filming new military graves in the southern Russian town of Tykoretsk. He said that as a dissident, Russia is simply a big country of lies. This the end of this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel, so you will not miss any of our new content. See you next time.